Previously on the Life Dark. And up next in this series would be uh, about USMLE Step One. All right. Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Anurag, and welcome to my channel. So welcome back to another video in the USMLE series. And today's video is going to be about how to prepare for Step One for international medical graduates. Okay, um, you might have heard that people are telling you to use Kaplan, First Aid, uh, Boards and Beyond, UWorld, you know, just get started and this and that. But if you're not able to find the exact way or, you know, you're lost about how to start with all of these resources, well, you have hit the gold mine because I've been talking about how to use uh, these uh, resources and you know, how to just get started. Okay, uh, there's a lot of things to be covered in the video regarding how to prepare, uh, how to take notes and everything is there. But before that, I would like to take you to a segment where, you know, today I'll be talking about Sarangi. Okay, this is an amazing instrument and as you can see, it has got four strings and displayed with a bow. So it's kind of a mixture between a bass and uh, a violin, if you must all right this thing turns out amazing melodious music which might blow your mind and it'll absolutely break your heart okay so this is one of the instruments which is uh used widely in folk music here in nepal so yeah that's a sarangi and going back to our topic for today so if you are an international medical graduate preparing for step one this is a video you should not miss all right so with that here we go Alrighty, let's get into the topic right away. So, first of all, there are some questions about this exam that need to be answered. Alright, let's start with that. So, I feel like I didn't study well in med school. Can I do good in the step exams? Well, absolutely. It all boils down to what the exam is like. And if you understand what the exam asks of you, what the exam pattern is like, and if you approach it in the right way, I believe you can do good irrespective of whatever happened in medical school. Alright, so that's there. That's the beauty of step one and all the other step exams uh, how much time will it take to prepare for step one well it depends on your existing level of knowledge and whether you're prepared for it or not uh, american medical graduates take around four to six uh, weeks to prepare for it because you know the exam is theirs okay it's their territory so they can do well because they prepare for it and the questions are also related to the curriculum that they're taught but in case of international medical graduates i believe it can take anywhere from 6 to 18 months uh, depends on how quickly you can grab um, pieces of knowledge use them apply them and you know how well you improve um, after you start preparing for it so it all depends on you uh, what are the resources in case of resources i like to divide them into two categories one is to build your foundation of knowledge and the other is to test your knowledge all right uh, so to build a foundation you can use things like uh, Kaplan video lectures uh, Pathoma uh, boards and beyond sketchy microbiology and everything is there okay so those are there to build your concepts and knowledge and there's an assessment tool which is UWorld okay so UWorld actually is a learning tool as well as an assessment tool both of it I mean is infused into one so I will teach you how to uh, use UWorld in a good way in upcoming videos uh, so those are the time of resources that you need to use okay uh, when is a good time to start preparing well um, I would suggest you start preparing uh, in your internship days okay but that's just my personal opinion you can even start in your first year of medical school but that's very hectic and uh, I mean if you put enough effort into it you can definitely do it there's no doubt but you know how the course is structured in your medical college uh, it all depends on those things so I'll make a separate video about how to do that so make sure you tune in for that okay so finally uh, there's this burning question about should i take uh, step one after it is reported at pass fail or while it is still numerical right so this is actually um you know uh, the change is going to happen in january of 2022 after which step one is going to be reported as pass and fail so my personal opinion is that if you feel that you can get at your desired score right numerical score uh 240 50 60 whichever you have aimed uh give a few assessments and if if you feel that you can get your desired score if you feel confident with it then give it uh, while it's still numerical if you feel that you know you can't get your desired score and you think that maybe I'll improve a lot in CK so it's all right if I just have a pass fail score in step one then yeah take it as pass fail so it all depends on your preference and how prepared you are right 
Okay, so before we begin about the resources and how to prepare, uh, just know that everyone has their own style and approach. Okay, uh, my approach might be different from the others. So what you can do is uh, ask your seniors about how they did it. Uh, look at uh, forums, uh, look something up on Reddit and everywhere. All right, do your research very well. And after you understand all of those things, what people did, uh, what worked for them, develop your own style. But in this video, I'll give you a bit of advice about how I did it and how it worked for me. And just to get things started, all right, to roll things into motion, what will happen is you you will not uh, start preparing for it because you get overwhelmed with all these resources I don't know where to begin so to remove all of that this video is here to just get you started and just start uh, preparing for it after this video okay I hope you do that all right so best way to figure out what works is if you never try you'll never know right just like Chris Martin says um, you know just try it once and uh, you can adapt to it all right uh, the first thing is to just begin with anything you know, pick up anything and just start doing it um, I will guide you don't worry okay so here it comes so the basic approach that I want you to understand is uh, I divide it into three phases okay so phase one is decide if you want to do it and I hope since you're looking at this video you've already decided to do it right so if yes get your basics hammered down okay um, that you will do with the help of Kaplan and everything you'll build a base and after that in phase two what you will do is you will use cue banks for assessment question banks for assessment you will revise you will consolidate all of those things that you have read and then finally in phase three you will revise once again uh, give some self-assessment exams uh, if you feel that you are confident you'll go and you'll ace the exam okay so the most tried and tested method is known as UFAP. All right, so it stands for U World um, First Aid FA and then Pathoma. All right, so how I structure it is Pathoma plus base knowledge, uh, first aid, and U World. Okay, so this is the most tried and tested method that has been used uh, throughout. I mean, I don't know, throughout ages, I should say. All right, so how it works is that. Now you build a base of your knowledge from resources and then you use UWorld for uh, further learning and assessment and all of this will be compiled into one thing called uh, first aid. Okay, so let's say you are trying to study respiratory physiology, right? So how I used to do it was I used to go to Kaplan. Okay, so I had Kaplan videos. I used to open Kaplan respiratory physiology in the video and then I would open the Kaplan physiology book in respiratory physiology. All right. And what I would do is I would start listening to the video, looking at the video and I would take notes in the book if it was necessary and I used to understand all the concepts very, very well. Okay. So you can also use boards and beyond and you can look at the videos of boards and beyond and you can use the notes uh, that have been provided so you can jot down things in the notes so basically you are building your base of your knowledge from these videos all right so now you have your knowledge base down now what you will do is then you will go to you world all right so what you will do in you world is uh, you will look at the things uh, the questions from respiratory physiology all right and then you start doing it you start solving it and what you will feel is that with your base of your knowledge there will be a lot of things that will be added extra in you world and there'll be a lot of things that you will be taught by you world right so what you need to do is you need to add these things into your first aid okay so open up your first aid and then what you will do is you will annotate in first aid so let's say there are things that have uh, new have been explained in you world and you think it's important just write it down in your first aid all right and then what you will do is read the first aid section of respiratory physiology once again okay then you will understand that okay so i had learned this from kaplan you were said this and in first aid it's written mentioned like this so i've all used all of these resources and compiled them into one book that is first aid all right so you reflect on your i mean study session and then you think what you did wrong in your world you know and uh, then you just address those knowledge gaps and if you need to you revise the from the videos and the notes and everything else all right so this is the cycle how i use it i i studied respiratory physiology all right uh what i would do is at the end of all these sessions i would have everything jotted down in uh first aid 
okay so i've also mentioned here about making anki flashcards okay so if you're not uh, a kind of person like me i mean i like like writing handwritten notes and i do too, i like to read from the books all right but if you want to enhance your memorization power and the way you remember things um anki flashcards is a system that you can use to take notes and revise them properly okay i'll make a separate video about anki so you can go there afterwards okay but this is basically what you will do so you can use kaplan or boards and beyond or whatever you want for your knowledge base uh, just make sure that everything is compiled into first aid okay another example let's say you are studying uh pathoma okay same story first of all you need to build your knowledge base right so what i used to do was open up uh, pathoma videos um, start let's say I'm studying for respiratory pathology right so I'll open respiratory pathology and pathoma and then I will open the first aid I mean in front of me okay I will go to the respiratory pathology section and whatever Dr. Hussein Sattar says you know I understand that I absorb it and whatever I want to add I would add it in my first aid in the pathology section okay so you can do the same with boards and beyond and you can just build your knowledge base then I would go to UWorld I would open up UWorld and do questions on respiratory pathology only all right and then if there was something new that was mentioned in UWorld world or some new concept that i didn't understand i would add them in either first aid or in uh, anki okay i used anki for step one and it was really really good but you know i also like making handwritten notes more than anki so i believe it was a mix of anki flashcards and notes but for me notes work better okay then i used to reflect upon the knowledge gaps which i had and then i used to think okay fine so this was about respiratory pathology i think i understand these many things and then i used to move on okay the basic thing about step one is based on understanding if you understand the concepts really really well then i believe you will be able to do very well in your exams okay so this is the same uh, i mean concept that you can use for sketchy micro as well all right so look it up i mean look at sketchy videos open up uh, first aid microbiology section and then add anything you want to add uh, whatever is being said in the video look at it in your first aid and then do, do the same so what i want you to do is after your three to six months of intensive knowledge base building i want you to have a thing Okay, I wanted you to have a first aid that is annotated or a bunch of uh, Anki flashcards that you need to revise. Okay, so this is our ammunition for the exam. So we're going to prepare for this exam and this is our arsenal. Okay, so for the resources that I... You, know, you can use are for anatomy you can use kaplan boards and beyond first aid uh, biochemistry kaplan boards and beyond first aid once again you know physiology so yeah this goes on okay so for pathology you can use pathoma uh there's golian audio lectures boards and beyond first aid for behavioral sciences public health ethics communication skills you can use biostats review from u world uh, 100 cases uh, from dr conrad fisher is great uh, there's a book called board review series you can use that as well i mean just look at these books and decide if this works for you all right but i told you the most standard way and the most tried and tested method is your world first aid pathoma and a little bit of extra things all right so for pharmacology you need to watch kaplan and boards and beyond first aid for microbiology you need sketchy micro and first aid uh, personally for me sketchy micro struck a chord with me because i'm a visual learner uh, and i still remember i mean uh, these uh, catalyst positive organisms and these things like that from the video itself okay so if it works for you great if it does not work first aid is there um you can cater it to your own needs okay so what i used uh, and uh, a little bit of things that i did was okay um if you were to ask me what is the single most resource you would suggest then most would say it is first aid but i would say it's U world okay U world is solid U world is i mean U world is amazing okay i really wish i had studied a lot of things from U world in my first second year of medical school you know i would have learned a lot of things but you know so but U world and first aid those two things are mandated right get them hammered down so for anatomy i used kaplan gross kaplan neuroanatomy uh, kaplan neuroanatomy is really amazing you know it describes all the pathways and things like that everything is there for physiology and biochemistry i would highly suggest kaplan uh video lectures all right dr sam turco he's the man all right and uh boards and beyond is also there so boards and beyond is actually for a little bit of a advanced learners i should say who already had good base in their medical school and they just want to 
um, you know, enhance their knowledge a little bit, but Kaplan is best for building a solid foundation. All right, for pathology, Pathoma is golden, and you can add it with the boards and beyond if you want. Then there is, is a lot of there are a lot of videos in boards and beyond as well. For pharmacology, I would suggest Kaplan and boards and beyond. Behavioral micro, hundred cases, boards and beyond. Uh, and for biostatics and public health, I think UWorld and boards and beyond are more than enough. Okay, so after you finish the phase one, which is uh, of the assimilating knowledge phase, I should say, you can go to phase two, which is with question banks. And in this phase, what you will do is you will now use the U world question bank to test yourself. All right, so now you will keep it in uh, timed mode and then you'll start doing blocks by making blocks and testing yourself. So that would be your testing phase. All right, so in this way, I believe you will be able to do you world twice. Once would be to build your knowledge and second time it will be to uh, assess your knowledge and your understanding and whether you can perform in, I mean, the one hour duration, whether you can do 40 questions or not, everything is there. So I'll make a video about how to go about using your world. So don't worry about it. And after that, what you will do is you will keep on revising you will give some self-assessments called the NBME uh, exams and UWSA, which is a UWorld self-assessment test. And if everything goes in your favor, what you can do is uh, you can give the exam and hope you ace it. Okay, a uh, quick mention would be regarding these video, I mean, audio lectures from Divine Intervention. All right, so... If you go to Google and you type Divine Intervention Podcasts, then there are some podcasts from this person called Divine. Okay, he makes amazing audio lectures and you can listen to them to just consolidate things, whatever you need to, I mean, consolidate. All right, there's, a, there's an array of podcasts there with different topics and... Uh, yeah, that's a good resource that has been floating around on the internet and it has helped a lot of people. Okay, so yeah, I, I believe uh, that's it for this video and I hope that uh, you'll be able to start preparing for the exam. Once again, let me tell you that everything is personalized, okay? Uh, the thing is that if you just get started, I mean, just jump in, then you'll start to understand how things are going to make sense. Um, it's more of a personal kind of uh study routine that needs to be made and it needs to be done according to your personal needs so make sure you do that and if you have any questions uh, leave them down in the comments below you can contact me on instagram where i will tell you about uh, what's going on all right so that was it for today's video and i'll be making other things regarding USMLE in the series about how to do UWorld, uh, how to make Anki flashcards and how to use them, um, all of these things, all right? I have lined up them for you, but yeah, I mean, I'm taking my time in making these videos. So uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. And yeah, so this is Dr. Omirag, The Life Talk, signing off with a promise to meet you yet again in yet another video. And until then, you my friend stay happy stay positive and as always stay strong